welcome in this video I'm going to teach you how to make coffee in the field uh, coffee in the field makes everything better uh, it's a great morale booster and I'm going to teach you how to make the best cup of joe that you've ever had period uh, regardless if you're in the field or back at home in the kitchen uh, and then towards the end of the video, I'm going to teach you some more easier methods that don't really take a lot of equipment. If uh, rucksack space or backpack space is at a premium, uh, this, these methods don't require a lot of equipment. And then to see the full article, uh, go to my website, fieldcraftguide.com, and just search for how to make coffee. So first thing I'm going to go over here is uh, the equipment that's required. So the first thing is a way to boil water. Now what I like to use, I like to use a canteen cup. That's just your standard uh, stainless steel GI issue canteen cup. They do make some of these that are aluminum. I would recommend the, uh, the stainless steel as it's a little more durable. It's not gonna bend and stuff in your pack. Uh, a backpack stove. I have the E-Tech City from Amazon. It's relatively inexpensive, under $20. Uh, and I've had it three or four years with uh, no issues. It's got an automatic start on it uh, or ignition. And then it also has a valve to control the, uh, the size of the flame. And then, of course, your fuel. Uh, right now, I've got some jet, jet boil fuel, but uh, Coleman also makes some fuel. It's a little less expensive. You can get it at uh, any of the big box stores. And next thing is we're going to be using the AeroPress which this is a pretty awesome uh, invention here. It's kind of like a big syringe. So you'll put your coffee and water down in the bottom portion and mix it all together and then uh, squeeze the coffee through a, a filter on the bottom. So it's actually filtered coffee. You don't have uh, the risk you run with the French press with getting uh, the coffee grounds into your actual cup. Like I said, it's similar to a French press in that you do mix the grounds and the water uh, together. But like I said, there is a actual uh, paper filter that goes in this. It helps uh, make a more smoother cup of coffee. And then I like to use a uh, manual coffee grinder. Currently using the uh, Tombert manual grinder. This is uh, also, I got it off of Amazon. It's uh, pretty inexpensive. It's a ceramic burr, which just means it has uh, ceramic gears in there that grind the uh, coffee beans into uh, a fine powder. And so fresh ground versus pre-ground. Coffee gets all of its uh, flavor from the oils that are in the actual bean. So if you get pre-ground, then those oils have already been released, you know, often months before you're actually gonna drink it. So I found that uh, fresh ground has the most freshest oils right there on it. And it's, it's simple to use. You fill up the uh, top portion with beans and then you just crank it for about uh, two minutes and it'll come out with the uh, fine ground or there's also some different courses that you can get like a medium course, fine ground course, or a larger course grind. So the first step here, how to make coffee in the field, boil water. It's uh, pretty simple. You can see my setup here. I'll fill my canteen cup about a third full of water. That's enough to fill the uh, arrow press completely up. Takes about two and a half minutes to boil with my E-Tech City stove set uh, on like medium high. And then a lot of times I'll boil a little extra, like maybe two thirds of canteen cup. That gives me some extra water for shaving with, especially when in the field. So once you got your uh, water going, it's time to grind the beans or you can do it while your water's boiling. So first step is fill the grinder with beans. You can see me doing it here. Uh, and that, that a full reservoir will yield about three and a half tablespoons of ground coffee, which is enough for uh, for a good cup from the AeroPress. And it takes me, like I said earlier, about two minutes to uh, grind that. So once it's all ground, you'll add your coffee and uh, water to the AeroPress. So you'll turn the AeroPress upside down and uh, pull the plunger almost all the way out. 
and then you just add your coffee in there and then the uh, water on top of it like i said earlier about three tablespoons of coffee uh, boiling water you fill up the uh, reservoir to the number two mark which is about the halfway point and then stir it and let it sit for about two minutes they call this uh allowing the coffee to bloom which means that uh, all the flavors get released and then uh, once that's once that two minutes is up go ahead and add the rest of your uh, canteen cup until the arrow press is completely full next step step four is to uh, cap it off so this cap has you can see me screwing it on there there's also a little paper filter that comes with the uh, arrow press or you can take a regular coffee filter and just cut it out to that size but you'll want to get that just a little bit wet that helps the uh, coffee seep through it when you start to press it and it also allows it to uh, stick to the top of that cap while you've got it inverted like that and then you just screw the cap on pretty simple next step is to push so you're going to invert the arrow press over the uh, canteen cup as you can see in the picture here and uh just put your hand on top and slowly start to uh, push down on the plunger it should take you about uh, 30 seconds to push that plunger all the way down so it's kind of a slow press and there's definitely some pressure because you're trying to push that water through the filter and through uh, the coffee grounds that will start to uh, accumulate on the, the back end of the filter and once that's done it's time to enjoy uh, so there's uh, my finished cup from uh, from that process and then for cleanups real easy you just uh, you in invert the arrow press again and screw the cap and the uh, coffee will and the grounds will have formed a nice puck uh, with a filter on top of it and you just pop that out rinse it out with the uh, water buffalo or or whatever your water source is there now there's some easier ways to do this like I said if you don't want to pack all that uh, one thing I've used before in the past is uh, coffee bags so Folgers make some Maxwell house a lot of the big uh, coffee manufacturers and they're just bags like tea bags and you make it basically the same way you boil water and then uh, steep the bag for one to five minutes in the in the water depending on how strong you want the uh, coffee to be and then another method instant coffee i'm not a big fan of most instant coffee but some of it is pretty good the uh, starbucks via is uh, is the best i've had it's not as good <clears throat> not as good as the aeropress or the coffee bag method in my opinion but it is better than like taster's choice and uh, some of the other instant coffees that's out there uh, again you just boil your water and then add the single serve via pack they come in little packs like uh like the water flavorings that you can get crystal light uh, and that's pretty much it so if you want to see some more uh articles or information like this check out my blog at fieldcraftguide.com uh, i've been writing articles now for about a year uh and I've been in the army for 18 years so I've got a lot of great uh, knowledge and experience that I'm trying to share through uh, through my blog and then click subscribe below if you want me to uh, continue making videos and that's it thanks